Robert, tap this camera away. Anyway, uh, 15 minutes of fame, hey? Who knows? I'm not as young as I was. No spring chicken. So today, I'm going to take you a walk uh, into work, into the uh, campus and we're going to just walk around some of the other areas that we haven't walked around. That's the um, playing field and underneath that is a swimming pool which is really good. So we're going to walk along here and there's all these little shops that carry most of the stuff you might need on a day-to-day -day basis. Not, not a lot of food but all the other bits and pieces water, crisps, cigarettes, beer, washing stuff. This uh, cat, I suppose the woman comes and feeds it. Oh. Hello. Hey, how? A number of these stores here are wine stores, as you can imagine. See, just little, little stores, and um, they've got these wine stores. And interestingly. Interestingly, all these wine stores have got Italian wine. There's a big connection to Italy in this area of Wenzo. A lot of Wenzo people travel out of the country and they go to Italy. And then they come back. There's another bigger store. But again, it's just got various stuff washing stuff, cleaning stuff, coffee, stuff like that. So yeah, uh, I'll take you onto the campus now. Okay, we're now going to walk over onto the campus and just take you down some of the other parts. What are they doing? some sort of damage. It may be saying something about all these flowers. You might have seen in the last video when we went up to one of the temples, my wife was talking about all the uh, flowers, especially the pansies. And you can see here all the pansies have been planted. That's why they need millions and millions of pansies. When we first came, all this building was surrounded by, it was still being built, it was surrounded by green walls. They've all been taken down now. Of course, now the, uh, now the COVID requirements have changed. We don't need to show green codes or anything like that, uh, we can just walk onto the campus. But that'll change when the campus is actually open for teaching and the students are back. We'll have to wait and see. God, you need to have a Snoring. So, over there, those buildings there, they're the main teaching buildings, uh, general education building, I think they call them. So that's where I do most of my teaching, but this semester I'll be teaching some classes in this white building ahead of us. <coughs> this is the architecture and design That's a business school. This is more like liberal arts and stuff. 
We were actually coming onto the campus to uh, feed the cats again. Make sure the cats are healthy and fed. This, what's this? This is going to be the science. New science? That's going to be the new science block there. And of course, this is where we live here. <coughs> still hear us coughing and spluttering which still I think we had COVID about two weeks ago around Christmas time was it today 15th 16th of January yeah so hang around for quite a long time <coughs> during uh, school time campus when during the semester these are what I use to get around campus it's a big campus and these are really handy they're electric bikes and you just use an app cost you one or two RMB and believe you me when it's uh, When it's hot, you don't want to be walking right across campus. It's better to jump on those little bikes and you get back to the AC as soon as possible. Here we are, more building. As I said, this is the design and architecture building I think you know I say I think because I've been here what three months now four months and I don't know what they do in every building I'm, I'm pretty much over here all my time we have been in there it's a nice building Let's see we were right up by the mountain what yeah up there there's some tombs in the on the hillside everywhere you go everywhere you go in this area there are tombs in the hillside old tombs and new if you looked at some of the other videos you'll have seen the new uh, burial grounds Oh, this is Zhejiang Avenue, Wenzhou Road. This is new, isn't it? 10th anniversary of WKU. I haven't seen that sign up before. Did you? Oh, okay. It's a big campus. Spring is springing. Spring is coming. Uh, there are a lot of water features on this campus. You can see there's goldfish down there. And if I see one, I'll show you the beware of the snakes. Because uh, there are some signs around that says uh, beware of the snakes. That's probably Aerovira, I think. Is that Aerovira? <coughs> what sort of snakes are around here? Well, cobra. Uh, especially up in the hills. So one is told when he goes, go walking up in the hills, you know, to be on your guard because of the cobras and other venomous snakes. This is the uh, CBPM, the business school. 
and I'll be teaching uh, up there next semester so so I'll go in there before the semester starts check out my classroom and I'll show you inside that building all these buildings are locked up at the moment so it's pointless going up <coughs> and this building is going to be what the library huh this is going to be the new library people are working on it at the moment hopefully it'll be open soon you can see these are spectacular buildings nice buildings there's the lake over there you probably can't see I'll try and zoom in some fishing birds I think they're ibis Although the big one looks like a heron, a white heron. These are the student accommodations here. This building has a gym. Uh, there, in, in that glass, behind that glass. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what else happens in this building. Um, somebody said that this gym is pretty temporary and it's pretty sparse. It's not much of a gym. It's got some machines, a bit of a weightlifting uh, area. If it's open, we can go in. Again, it's a business school there. The science science uh, departments are over that way more and kept well away from the main part of the campus a building over there canteen number two so you can see it's a bit of a trek from where I would work back there, all the way over here, if you want to go to the canteen. I think we'll get in there and show you the gym. lockers okay here's a gym bit of a weight area a few machines some running machines bikes row machines bikes it's warm in here huh. come and stay here yeah so that's it I'm told I'm told there is going to be a new gym, a bigger one, but who knows, I don't, it's just what people tell you, uh, to make it maybe bigger, maybe more stuff available, but who knows, anyway, that's the gym. Where are you going? Christmas. Our music rooms, martial art rooms, and dance rooms in here. It says dance rooms. Dance room. Music rooms. So this is pretty much a student hobby sort of building, I guess. Martial arts or equipment room stuff. Martial arts room. <coughs> toilets. Maybe in the toilets there's showers. Yeah, my, uh, my dean of the liberal arts faculty, not the dean, of the English faculty, 
not a liberal arts faculty. He uh, he teaches uh, karate, I think. So he probably teaches it there. Anyway, let's go and see where the hungry, what the hungry cats are doing. You want to go upstairs, won't we? Okay, squash, basketball, and badminton. Didn't know there were squash courts, although I used to like playing squash, but maybe it's a bit beyond me now. Being old. <coughs> I didn't know there was a squash court. Hello. The badminton. Basketball and two squash courts. Let's go and have a look. So here's the squash court. I used to play squash every Friday night, but a few years ago. Yeah. Won't mind coming up for a knockabout, I guess. <coughs> I'm not as young as I was. No spring chicken. Okay. Badminton. Bye bye. Okay, we're going down now. Right, let's go and see if there's any kitty cats waiting for us. Oh look, they look like they've been oh, somebody there feeding them. Yeah. Oh, at least they are getting fed. Roses are still out. There's only four, what were there, nine or ten here yesterday. Oh. Oh, pussy cat. Yeah, there were nine here yesterday. Nine or ten. Yeah. Where are you going? I don't know if there'll be any down there. One, then two, three. <coughs> any more? This is the parcel place. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <coughs> yeah. Hey, whoop, 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 whoop. Robert, tell this cat that you gave me big squash last day. Yeah, you be careful, they don't want to scratch you. Just put it on the food or something. On the floor. This is where they live. <coughs> I guess the students put these things out for them. I'm trimming this girl away now. <laughs> Like I said, that's the uh, delivery place. Um, student accommodation here. And up here, out the back, there's um, more student accommodation. There's some shops and around the corner that way. There's the um, staff accommodation. 
<coughs> so there is staff accommodation on the campus but I think it's pretty much booked out you have to if you're interested in accommodation on the campus then um, you have to uh, ask HR before you come here like I said we live in Lowe's that block over there those accommodations there um, if you want to know the agent's number you can either get it off HR or you can ask me and uh, we'll give you the agent's contact details and even if you want we'll go around and film some of the video some of the uh, apartments we'll go and uh, film some of the apartments for you if you want if you're not actually in Wenzo and you're coming in a couple of months then happy to go and show you what's available of course when you actually get here or when you talk to the agent they may not be available but you can see the sorts of things I think I've got two or three videos already on YouTube showing you the sorts of apartments you can get over over there I haven't got any videos about the staff apartments or any of the other area apartments and there are some there are some downtown <clears throat> and um, the uh, the university puts a bus on but you know it's 45 minutes an hour here 45 minutes an hour back and they don't run like every half hour they just run at certain times so you might be sat around after classes for an hour or two waiting for the bus to go so <clears throat> Yeah. We finished the meat, now they're getting biscuits. I know that one there is a bit suspicious. There's lots of food around. Like I said, people are feeding them so Yeah, yeah. That looks like kitten food, the small bits. Well food's food, you know. Food's food. Hey pussy cat. Food's food, right? Hey, food's food. This one isn't isn't fighting for it. More oh, student accommodation, student accommodation, student accommodation here. Um, just down there, around the corner, is uh, Canteen Two. Canteen two, and there's a there's a little shop there, like a grocery shop where you can buy stuff, a sandwich shop, and then, like I said, around the back here, there's a fruit shop and some other shops and a hairdresser, the sort of a bread shop, cake shop, the sort of things that students want, you know, because there's not a lot of shops in this area. The shops we walked past at the beginning of the video were the, the only shops in the area. Um, if you want a supermarket you've got to jump into DD. There's one called In Time that we go to for general groceries and vegetables. There's one in Mix C which has an Ole which is much more expensive but carries quite a lot of Western stuff and then we use Walmart as well uh, which is even further downtown so you've got to get DD you've got to get a taxi to get down to them if you, if you want to do your shopping so we we do our shopping like once a week like back in the West really <clears throat> you can get vegetables delivered to one of these shops here and you know other stuff you can buy on Pow Bow or check out bowpals.com B A O P A L S dot com, which is an English version of Taobao, where you can use your Alipay or your WeChat to um, pay for whatever you want to buy. And like it's just an English version of Taobao, so you can buy food, clothes, household goods, whatever on on these uh, websites and they get delivered to your front door so yeah 
back side of the library. Now leaving the pussy cats behind. <coughs> Kittens following us. One wants to be adopted, but we already have three cats in the house. Well, I'm afraid we can't adopt another one unless it was in dire distress and needed a vet when we probably would pick it up. But they all seem pretty healthy at the moment. Although the boys could do with deballing, because you know, stop the kittens. And I guess the girls could do with being neutered as well, but you know, it's expensive. We can't do all of them. No, you can't follow us, cat. Can't follow us. You're not coming home. Sorry. The lake is nice there to sit there when it's sunny. Look at the birds, watch the fish. Uh, in here, there's a, there's a subway. Yeah, an actual subway with a, you know, the normal stuff you get in subway. So if you want lunch there, you can have that or you can, you can use the canteens. I don't use the canteens because, uh, you know, school dinners is school dinners. As far as I'm concerned, some people say it's okay, but it's not for me. I don't tend to eat much during lunch anyway. When I'm working, it puts me to sleep. Can you see there's all nice walkways around here? It's a very nice campus. And even during the weekdays, during the semester, it's, it's still quite quiet, you know. All the students are in the buildings. It's not very busy. The food we left, uh, there was another cat down here yesterday. We left some food here. Yeah. It was very suspicious. We left some food, it's all gone. Uh, we left some food here. It was all gone. There's a lot of bird life on this campus, you know. Because, especially now when there's no one around. Not that we've seen a lot of birds today. So you probably think I'm lying. Huh. Yeah. You go down that way, around to so the building on the end is a science block. No, and then the swimming pool is down that, down that way as well. Of course, the swimming pool is uh, closed at the moment because the whole campus is shut. Yeah, we got away from the cat. Just wanted more food, really. So, so yeah, this is the uh, this side of the campus tour. We've been that side. If you want to look at the classrooms you can look through my videos and you can find my walk to work <coughs> on that so uh, I'm going to switch off now because you don't unless there's something else I need to show you, to show you so uh, yeah thanks don't forget to subscribe like share and ask me some questions if you're coming to this university happy to answer them because I'm a newbie as well you might ask me something I don't know. Who knows? Bye. We were talking the other day in one of the uh, videos about the flower, the what, the what they call it, nursery that we walked around. And my wife was asking about all the pansies. Of course, this is why because the place is landscaped. Uh, I was making that point in the video. And, uh, yeah. So here you can see, this was all done yesterday. We came onto the campus yesterday, and this was 
this was all done. The landscapers are here doing this, probably for the new year, the new year celebrations. Yeah. And again, over here, from the mascot. There's something going on here. Showing how they're beautifying the area, probably. Very beautiful. Maybe it's a TV. Hello. Chinese. Ah, they want, they want to interview me. Uh, 这两边绿化最好的时候也美观多了you know, I, I think you know, all this landscaping is really beautiful and I think you know, the local government puts a, puts a lot of thought and effort and money into making everywhere so beautiful for us. And I believe, you know, this is real socialism, the socialism of living in a beautiful place. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 What were you saying? Uh, you ask it, uh, how would I feel this road, is new road be finished? Uh -huh. so, uh, why would I just tell them when we move in, this road with the building is yeah. haven't finished. Yeah. Um, now they finished, I think the road is very friendly for people, cycle yep. the bike, uh, the bus, you know, yep. they go yep. through, but yep. not, uh, and traffic lights with them. Yep. People have no traffic lights, <laughs> so it's a mess. Yep. Yeah, this is a very proud of people for living here, and it's very good for the university children. Yep. They're very, very nice, very nice yep. people to treat them. Yep. Welcome to another student to get into it. Yep. Yeah, I thought it was a little know about row about this area. Oh. Be welcome to the students mm. to come here. Yeah. And who are they from? I don't know. TV or they're probably TV. They're local uh, <coughs> Did you actually say that I thought this was a real socialist? Real socialist living. <laughs> anyway, uh, 15 minutes of fame, eh? Who knows? <sighs> Maybe we're going to get some snacks. Shops have good snacks. This one, up the end. Okay, we're going to say bye bye again.